All right, it's finally time for the last beta of this year. That's right, Android 12 Beta 5 is now live, and it's available on Pixel devices and others that are enrolled into the beta program. And I must say, this version has seen a lot of ups and downs, from some good refinements to major changes and whatnot. There is a lot coming on the Pixel phones, and for the rest, well, time will tell. So for now, let's have a close look at Android 12 Beta 5 update and what fixes and features can we expect now with this new version of Android. Also make sure to tap on that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's free and will keep you updated whenever a new video arrives. Now we don't have a big changelog with this version, but here are some of the fixes that we were expecting. And here is a changelog just in case you wanted to know about the fixes. And that's alright. I'll be using it as my daily driver as usual and the previous versions had a bunch of minor issues sometimes, but nothing major as such. Now let's compare the Geekbench scores after this Android 12 Beta 5 update, as this is near the final version now. So on Geekbench I used to get a score of 533 in single core and 1505 in the multi core score on Android 11 stable. And after this update, the score is now 530 in single core and 1484 in the multi core score. So the performance is almost similar to that of Android 11 now and let's see what the stable one has for us on the table. Anyways, for the what's new part, we first of all have the September 21 security patch, which is always an MVP of a Pixel phone, day 1 patches and updates. And apart from this, we can see some new things like this new clock widget, and we finally have the material you redesign, which looks great to be frank, as that old clock looked from the 90s era. So thanks to Google for this redesign, and by the way, you can find all the new wallpapers on my telegram channel and you can find a link to that in the description area. You get a bunch of options to choose from so that's nice and it adapts as per your wallpaper, just like everything else on the Android 12. We also have this new system wide search bar which used to be this uneven block before, a minor bug but noticeable. So that has also been fixed and this new search bar can basically search for various settings, email IDs, screenshots and much much more and it makes it quite easier to jump between those on the go. So a tiny but useful feature to have. We also have the device control shortcut on the lock screen now, which makes it handy if you use tap to pay for Google or other smart home products. Now the next change is with this at a glance widget on the home screen, which used to be something like this with the beta 4 and below versions. And now it will basically match your lock screen theme which seems kinda broken now and looks like it is still work in progress. But never mind, the stable release is right around the corner and we will see this getting fixed really soon. I also expected the new gaming mode with this version and it seems like it has the same fate. But there is new private compute score page under privacy settings. And in here, you can basically clear the data that device has used to catch up with your needs by various machine learning algos and other stuff that was stored on your device. Apart from that, you can customize the keyboard and smart reply features in the second option here. Lastly, the version of camera app is now up from the last version, though I don't see any new features as of now, but let's see. Oh wait, there is one more thing that I need to share. So no new Android version is complete without an easter egg, right? So here is the Android 12 easter egg that you can unlock in settings by setting the time to 12. And now, in the widgets you will see this color widget that simply covers all the colors that the new theming engine generated as per your wallpaper. And that's pretty much it for the final version of Android 12 beta. So if you do end up liking this video, make sure to subscribe and watch other Android 12 feature videos that I covered in past, so that you can stay up to date. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.